Good morning, guys, and welcome to today's vlog. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe down below, give this video a like, and we'll get right on with the video. In today's video, I'm just gonna take you along on my day, and most of it is gonna consist of cleaning my closet because it's beautiful outside. But guess what? I don't really get to enjoy it today because I've been putting off cleaning my closet for months, and that's not okay anymore. I need to do it. Ugh. But before we do that, I wanted to go for a walk outside because I was thinking of going to the gym and doing 12, 3.30 again, but it's so nice out, and I thought, maybe I should enjoy the sun at least a little bit before I try to tackle my closet. I also am just gonna put a little bit of makeup on because I am breaking out like crazy right now and I've just had a lot of stressful overwhelming things happening in my life lately. That's why I think and I haven't been eating the best which is not a good combination stress and not eating well don't go together. So I'm gonna put a little bit of makeup on, just to, like do something with this. I usually don't really care and I usually just show my acne anyways, but I thought today could be like me by myself and like actually treating myself. I don't know, we'll see. I'm just gonna put makeup on, but I just wanna say acne is so normal. If you see perfect skin on me in like Instagram stories, on pretty much anyone, other than if they like explicitly say there's no filter, no editing, then it's probably not true everyone has acne so don't ever feel bad about it because it's just something we gotta deal with it's something that everyone deals with I'm just gonna do my makeup really quick and then we'll go on a walk So my makeup is done. This freaking pimple won't go away or hide, but whatever. I just did a natural look. I didn't even really use eyeshadow. I just used my bronzer, highlight, concealer, bronzer, lips, mascara, and then eyebrow gel. And that's it. Let's go on a nice walk outside. Hello, we're back at my apartment. That walk was so nice. I haven't taken a walk like that since, I guess when I saw Brett we did, but. Anyways, makeup was a mistake. You can probably see I'm very shiny. It's very warm outside. And I was listening to Call Her Daddy <laughs> in my AirPod and I was passing people and everyone's like, hello, hello. And I'm like, hey. And it's like, if only they could hear what the heck was going on in my ear. <laughs> Went for a nice walk, I'm very sweaty. I think I might take a shower before I do my whole closet because I'm gonna try to avoid that for a while. I'm procrastinating. But I do wanna make breakfast and I do want to have coffee before I do anything. I'm probably just gonna have oatmeal because I ran out of eggs yesterday and I have like no food. So might have to get groceries in this vlog as well. And I just got a new coffee machine and I'm so, so excited to show you guys because it is such a good coffee machine. And shout out to Natalie Barbu for showing me the coffee machine because I am in love. So I'm gonna start off by making oatmeal. You just need oats. I have quick cook. You need cheese seeds or this is what I put in my oatmeal. You can make oatmeal however you want. <laughs> I use oat milk, my go-to kind of milk. I use frozen fruit. Right now I have strawberry and bananas that are frozen. And I just take about a little less, actually a little more than a quarter cup. This is a half cup. So put that in and then you just do double the amount of milk. 
compared to the oats. So I'll do a little more than half a cup, just a little bit though. I don't like really runny oats. And then I just pour a random amount of chia seeds that looks good to me, mix that up. That's what it looks like currently. And then I just take a fork and mix the chia seeds in so they like get soaked in the milk as well. This is like an easy go-to breakfast that I do that is healthy, quick, before work a lot, but it's kind of what I have for this weekend since I ran out of everything. I like to put chunks of strawberry and banana in it, and I do use fresh fruit if I have it, but I really like the frozen fruit because they get really warm and like mushy in the microwave, and then they turn into like explosions of juicy fruit flavor. If you've never put frozen fruit in your oatmeal, please try it out. And then the bananas, they start to taste kind of like that mushy bite of banana you get in like banana bread that's like really warm. That's how the bananas turn out. So I highly recommend you use frozen fruit in your oatmeal. It is so good. And then that's what it looks like before it goes in the microwave. And I microwave for two minutes even though it says a minute and a half because again, I don't like the runny kind of oatmeal. And then this is the new coffee machine that I got. It usually has like a milk thing in here if you want to make lattes or cappuccinos. It does that for you. It's called the Mr. Coffee Cafe Barista. Like I said, Natalie Barbu uses this. She's another YouTuber. She inspired me to get one. So I'll link it down below on Amazon. It's like $170, I think. But I was lucky enough to find on Facebook Marketplace my favorite thing in the whole world. I don't know if it's as good everywhere else as it is here, but I find so many good finds on it. And I got it for $70, which is like a hundred and some dollars off. Score on me. I'm going to make an iced latte today because it's hot. So after the oatmeal is microwaved, it kind of looks like this. Not the most appealing, I know, but that's just how it looks. And the only thing I've really been adding to my oatmeal lately is granola. So I'm just going to use the rest of this almond butter granola from Trader Joe's. It's like all out, I'm very sad. I am literally all out of groceries. I need to fix that. That's what I'm gonna eat. I mix it up and then I just enjoy. So I'm gonna go enjoy my oatmeal and my iced latte. What a good breakfast for Saturday morning. It may be 2.30 p.m. and I may have not started cleaning yet, but it's okay because I'm starting now. So I have all of my clothes down there. Not all of them actually, that's a lie. Those are just clothes that have been sitting on my floor for two months. I know it's bad guys, I know. Don't judge me. And then I have all these hangers laid out. So these are like ones without like little hook things for like tank tops and then these do have those. I just thought it would make it easier to organize and start hanging this stuff up. I'm betting that I'm gonna keep most of this pile that I showed you just cause these are like newer clothes from my hauls that I've done in the past and then we'll tackle this disaster. And I'm guessing a lot of those clothes are going to leave because I feel like I mostly wear like the newer stuff that I have. And a lot of that stuff is just like not my style anymore. It's from college. Some of it is probably even from high school, which I should just get rid of it. I should just get rid of it. If I don't wear it, it's gotta go because I'm trying to downsize my clothing collection by quite a bit. Let's get started. I'm just listening to Zane and Heath Unfiltered on my phone. I have like the YouTube video up. I haven't listened to their podcast before. I listened to them on Wild Till 9 with Lauren and Jeremy. I'm going to try it out because I really like Mariah. Like I'm mostly listening to it for Mariah. So I'm gonna check it out, but come watch me hang up a crap ton of clothes and try to get rid of some. It's so hard for me to like let go of it, but I have to. <laughs> So 
So I have this Free People like windbreaker and I love it because I love the colors and the pattern and everything. But NYX, <laughs> she freaking chewed off. There used to be two of these metal clasps and she chewed them off. And I don't know where the other one is. And she like chewed off all of the string in this. So you can see that it's like very tiny now. It can stretch and stuff. So I'll still be able to wear it, but I had to like DIY this and that's okay because I like tuck in that anyway so you don't really see the class but thanks Nyx for ruining a free people freaking jacket. I went through all the clothes that were on the floor. Like I said, I was pretty sure I was keeping all of them. There is like one thing that I might get rid of because somebody from Depop accidentally sent it to me and I didn't want it. But now I'm just gonna start pulling pieces off the rack and we're just gonna start putting it either in one of these piles that are organized by like clothing style or we're gonna take it off the hanger and throw it out into the hallway because I'm not keeping it anymore. So let's start with that. So I switched up my hair because I was sick of the high bun, but I'm gonna take a break and head to Target. I pretty much went through that whole closet already. I didn't organize like the boxes and stuff in the bottom, but I already figured out things that I wanna get rid of. I do have another closet that I have to go through. So after we get back from Target, we'll go through that one. I'm just doing grocery pickup since I have plans to clean today. Okay, so I just got back and my neighbor actually asked me to give her a ride to the grocery store even though I just got back. So I'm gonna do that. Obviously not gonna vlog that, but I thought I would do a really quick grocery haul before I do that for her. So I got granola, I got chickpea spaghetti, peanut butter, natural crunchy peanut butter, pasta sauce, salsa, I did not know it was this big, <laughs> chickpeas, black beans, diced green chilies for a recipe I wanna try, and sriracha. And then I also got spinach, bell peppers, these like smoked apple and sage plant sausages. I thought that they would be fun to try. Ginger paste for that recipe I was just talking about. Eggs, because I eat eggs like every day. Oat milk, because I have oat milk like every day. And some blueberries. Next for like junk food, I got mozzarella sticks because I have marinara sauce in my fridge. And then I got these ultimate plant-based chicken tenders. They're like by the brand Garden. They just look different than the ones that I've tried before. So I wanted to try those out. And then I got brown sugar for a recipe, tomato paste for a recipe, curry powder for a recipe, chipotle peppers and adobo sauce for a recipe. And then another junk food thing are these Nature's Bakery brownies because they're the best. They're made out of dates. And then I got lemon juice because I left mine at Brett's, of course. I have a red onion, you can't see in here, but I'm gonna take it out. I don't like how they have to use all these plastic bags, but I got a red onion, avocados, I got a sweet potato, and then I got four bananas, but they're kind of yellow already, which makes me sad, because I like green bananas. Oh, and I got tomatoes. So that's my little grocery haul. Gotta put all this stuff away now. <laughs> so it turns out she doesn't need a ride, which honestly, thank goodness, like social anxiety was like through the roof, because I no idea what I would have even talked to her about but she was so nice when she asked and I just wanted to help her and I could but she said she didn't need it so it's all good. I am gonna clean out my other closet. I'll show you guys like the closet but I cannot like film it I don't think. I just don't think it'd be good lighting or good footage at all. This is the second closet. This has like my dresses and like my dressier clothes, rompers, like work attire that I don't obviously wear to work. Like fun pants, skirts and stuff. So it's gonna be hard 
to get rid of this stuff because I really have been enjoying dresses and skirts. We're gonna try our best. And like I said, it's not gonna be easy to film in that hallway just because it's like skinny and there's not room or light except for like very yellow light, which I do not wanna turn on. I will show you guys like the finished pile of everything I'm getting rid of once I'm done. I changed because I was trying stuff on and all of my fancy pants, like that's what I like to call them. They're just like funky, fun pants. They are all too short on me because they must have gone through the dryer or something. So I'm getting rid of so many clothes. That closet's pretty much done. I'll take you around to everything that I'm getting rid of soon. But I had packages, so I wanted to show you guys the packages that I got. This one actually came a while ago. I had been waiting and waiting to open it for the vlog and I just hadn't gotten around to it so I'll open it now. They wrapped it so nicely. It's from Mercari and it's the not wedding planner and organizer so in here it's just like everything to help you plan your wedding. They got like color swatches so you can choose which one you want. It does have like timelines and tells you what you need to do. You can fill in. It's kind of like a workbook, but for planning a wedding. And I just thought it'd be really nice to have to keep organized and all of our ideas are in here. And it's usually like $30 and I'm pretty sure I got it for like $8. I had to pay shipping, but whatever. It has a little bit of damage here, but she showed me that before I bought it. And I was like, I don't care if it has just a little bit of damage it doesn't really matter so got that and then this is from my parents actually it's been like over a month since my birthday but I just figured out what I wanted so I told them what I wanted and they ordered it off of Amazon to me and it was something I really needed which was new sneakers because my sneakers that I wear to work every single day that I work out in that I do everything in are from before I even went to college. They were like between the summer of senior year of high school and freshman year of college. So I've been needing to get a new pair and I got these Adidas ones. And it's crazy because they're so light. It felt like the box was like empty. This is what they look like. They were like the most recommended pair on Amazon. So I just went with them. They're super lightweight and I think they're gonna be comfy. They have like foam in it. So I'm excited to start wearing these to work. Those are the two packages that I had to show you guys. So here's the result from cleaning that closet and my closet in my bedroom. I know everything's a mess right now, but I condensed it down to like right here. So look at how much open bar space is in there now. And then this one I spread out quite a bit, but there is so much more room in here. I might be able to fit all that stuff in here. There's all those hangers. There's all those hangers. So I'd say it's a pretty successful like closet clean out. I think I got rid of so much stuff and I might try to go through it one more time. And anything that I even think about, I'm just gonna get rid of. It's already getting kind of late, so I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I am so glad that I'm getting rid of so many clothes. If you want to see a video of me trying to sell to Play-Dohs, maybe I'll do that. Or making a Depop, I'll do that too. So we'll see. Maybe this will continue on. Make sure to subscribe down below. Give this video a like and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!